All right, I don't. I think I'm done. I don't need to record any more uh, of these warnings. I don't think so. Uh, if you're hearing this, then I guess I was wrong. So, uh, uh okay. Haha. -ha. Okay, here we go. So, I think the implication is that this one was used before you got here, and whoever used it destroyed it. I don't know if that's supposed to mean something, but I mean, this is... This is the obligatory uh, boss rush level. Oh, my sub-tanks are doing full. Oops. Oh, that's okay, I have everyone's weakness and full ammo and... You know... Wheelie Gator! Don't go underwater- uh. Yeah, I got dash boots now, Wheelie Gator. I was able to beat you with nothing. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, come on! Oh, no! Oh, that was the worst. Worst outcome. Eat that, because it makes you stand there and get shot more. Yeah, see? Interesting strategy. Uh, how come my uh, flaming uppercut did so little damage? I always thought that was a one-hit kill on everybody. Granted, I don't think I've ever hit this guy with it before, so... Learn something new every day. Unless you sleep all day or something. Oh yeah, and uh, Wheel Gator's weakness is the chain strike that you get from Sponge Dude, uh, Sponge Pickle Bob. And uh, but anytime you hit him with it, he just goes underwater and starts throwing his buzzsaws again. So it's really not faster. I mean, you, you do deal more damage per hit, but, like, you only get one hit in, and then he goes underwater, and you gotta wait for him to come back out, and then you hit him once again, and he goes underwater again, and it's like, yeah, that's a bad thing. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Great A commentary. Alright, I'm gonna try for the uppercut. But, most likely what's gonna happen is he'll go, and then he'll just run into me, and I'll go flying. <laughs> That's not the right weakness. Uh, this one. Which is weird, because we're in a icy level now. I can't see you. I'm gonna try to bring him down. Ah, uh, I'm gonna bring him down here. Oh no, he's in the background. He's gonna try to step on me. There we go. Man, the slowdown is real. <sighs> I hope that's not affecting uh, anyone's viewing. Because that's a part of the game. I don't remember it being this bad before, but I'm more... I'm more uh, keen on that now. I, I tend to notice it more now, whereas back in the old days, you know, it happened and you just kind of kept playing. But now, you know, I'm older, so I'm noticing, oh, this is a technical error in the video game. I'm gonna try something real quick. I'm gonna click a couple buttons. Doot doot. Uh, there. Let's see if that makes a difference. Fingers crossed. The snail? What is going on? Cat, stop it. You're scratching up stuff now. I get it, you said meow, and you want pets, but, like, screw you, okay? I'm busy, there's more to life than petting cats. Not a lot more, but, you know. 
I have one of these for your face! Aw, oh, damn it. J Stop it! He just moved to something different. And then he maybe missed my shot. Okay. Okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Eh. Eh. Damn, damn it! No! 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 Ah! Uh. I really wanted to uppercut him. I like uppercutting the bosses. It's like, I worked hard for this uppercut, and now I want to use it on things. <laughs> use the slowdown technique. Now I'm slower than a snail. But, mm, everything's going great. Hey! Yeah! Eh, eh, eh. My cat is in the background, just scratching up all the furniture, and I shoo him away from one thing, and he moves on to a different thing. And now that I'm free, he's not doing anything bad, he's just sitting. Ooh, why is that? Now he's sitting like a meerkat, and it's kind of adorable. Hey. Now I can't even do the uppercut. Yay! I wouldn't have been able to hit him with the uppercut anyway. Oh, it's like he knows that I'm I'm in a boss fight again. He just like charged over. I was like, hey! Ceiling is higher because I can't get him with this shot anymore. Gosh darn it! Fooey! Yeah, I have to like jump off the wall now in order to reach him. Oh no! He faked me out. This is like the same thing that I was talking about with Wheel Gator. Like, you hit him and he makes himself invincible and you just gotta wait so it technically takes longer, but Magnus Centipede is a, in my opinion, he's a hard boss when you don't use the weakness, so. Whereas Wheel Gator is just like, He's, he's pansy. It's kind of silly because if you think about it, like one's an alligator and the other one is an insect. So, I mean, I'd rather fight an insect in real life as compared to an alligator. But this ain't real life, okay? This is M Murder Man X. It's a game about head. I don't know why that's the thing that's sticking with me. I've I've never really That's not really a thing I've said in the past. Oh look who it is, Flame Stag. The guy who beat me because I ran out of ammo because of surges. Gosh darn. His flames are blue now. He's different. Completely different boss fight. Oh, he's way harder. Yeah, the walls are in closer. So, I mean, if you didn't know his weakness and you had to fight him legitimately, I assume that would affect the, the fight. At least they look like they're in closer. I don't know for sure. I mean, at this point, you already have all the weapons, so... Even if he didn't know his weakness, I would just... Like, this is your chance to find out what their weaknesses are, right? Because you're fighting all the bosses while you already have all of the boss skills. So you can just try them all until one works. Yay, I can not Hadouken people. What is it called? 
I'm not even gonna try it on him, because... Uh, he's not... he's not that hard, anyway. Okay, I'm... I am gonna try it. <laughs> Just as I thought. And his boss room is different, too. He's got spikes here now. What's up, Bubble Crab? I thought you didn't like spikes. Were you conforming? <sighs> My mom said you're a bully. Yeah, you jump on that. I don't know how that plays into your strategy. But I also don't know how dashing into your attack is plays into my strategy either. But hey, guess who won? Yeah, that's right. It's the guy who's not blowing up currently. Murder Man X. A game that naturally increases your abilities in trash talking, as I have just displayed. Ah, slow down. Stop. Oh boy, it's the super effective fire guy. He's a sponge, and his weapon is a rope. How is he expected to beat anything? I'm concentrating so hard right now. Hey, get- I can charge up too. You- you- Bushwhacker. Oh, come on! Come on! Yeah, I got him with a rebound. Ah! Oh. And then he got me with a rebound. I did not cut him in half this time. Because I did a vertical attack instead of a horizontal one, I and mean, he only gets cut horizontally. Murder Man X, game all about educating you about the difference between uh, horizontal and vertical. And also head, did I mention head? Ah, oh, come on, this is the, he's like the guaranteed, like, I will always get hit by your uppercut boss. But I don't have full health, and you can only use that at full health, so... Ha ha ha, I guess I'm fighting him over again. Get him with the trail! Oh, get him with the trail! Whoa, why is he so far to the right? He's totally not in the center. I'm gonna charge you up. I'ma charge you my laser! That's... that's a new joke. I wrote that joke. I wrote it, and I was like, I'm gonna say that during Mega Man X2. Shoot the whoop. Blah. I think that's all of them. Did I miss the one in the bottom left? Nope, I got them all. It has been a while, Mega Man X. Sigma? What? Sigma? It was given away by the subtitles. Your name showed up. It seems that the X-Hunters have failed, but don't worry. I have arranged for some new toys for you to play with. <laughs> that wasn't there. I just feel like Sigma's the kind of guy who would have a maniacal laugh after he announces what his plan is. And look, it's... The top of it is destroyed. I guess that's where those boss battles took place. Um, that, that's a really cartoony thing about this game, too. It's like, I get that they're trying to buy time, apparently, for their big master plan to come through, but, like, why do they turn over the parts of Zero? You know? Like, sure, they come and steal them back at the end, but, like, why would they do that? 
they don't have to. <laughs> Their plan that they're buying time for is to bring Zero back. They can't do that if they don't have the parts of Zero. And yeah, it's this level again, woohoo! Ow, oh no, I'm losing health, oh no. Sure hope the purple block drops health, oh look at that! Dunk. But yeah, the whole reason that you're in this level again is, uh, this room up here, that's actually where those three guys are talking in the beginning of the game. So, that's why we're here. Because this is like their base. <gasps> it's Sigma. <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? It's Zero. Look who I found wandering around, Mega Man. My friend here has a small problem with you. It seems that you let him die, and he's not too happy about that. Now I think it is time that he repays the favor. Sigma, what are you talking about? Z Zero... I didn't let him die, he killed himself. He blew himself up, because he, he insisted on fighting Vile by himself, and then he lost because he wasn't good enough, and then he blew himself up and I beat him because I was better. You seem to have your facts confused, Sigma. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the best music. Oh, Jesus. Eh, I can do that too. This is my favorite music of, like, a lot of... It, it's the best music. It is just the best music. Eh. Ah! Slowdown is real. And this is where they establish a lot of things with Zero that stick. Like, ah. Unfortunately, that's not an ability you get. Uh, gosh darn. Gosh darn. Yeah. Do with this one. Yeah. Uh. I'm a good Mega Man X player. Uh. I almost got it. I almost got it. My mom is proud of me. My mom is proud of me. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. Zero. Do you remember me? Yeah, I guess so. Sorry to cause you so much trouble. X, you need to go after Sigma. I'll try and destroy the main computer. Really, Zero? You're back for like 10 seconds and you're already like, I'm gonna go do a thing off screen and not actually help you, okay? Take care of yourself, Zero. I don't have time to put you back together again. I'll be okay. Get going, X. Bam! Here it is, X. Signalized just ahead. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I wanna go this way with zero. Oh. But yeah, so if you collect... If you fail to collect all three zero parts, you have to fight zero, and I think that's super epic, because as Igor after points out in Sequelitis, uh, the whole theme is about zero being stronger and you becoming stronger to be as strong as zero or stronger than zero, and then in number two it's all about getting zero to come back, and then you fight zero, and you prove that you have gotten stronger than zero, even though he's put back together and he's got his... This is the first use he gets of his uh, beam saber thing. Although, no, I think he had that in the first one, too. But, uh, yeah, I really like that boss battle, and it's got the best music, I think. Like, that's the best Zero theme, in my opinion. 
so not experiencing that fight is not a better outcome to me because yeah you if you get zero's parts and you save zero then zero comes in and they have like a black clone of zero and they're like oh look at this and then real zero comes in and destroys them and you don't have the boss battle so i mean mechanically speaking that's one less boss you had to fight before the final boss and i mean look at my health zero wrecked my shit but i think it's worth it <clears throat> You are merely a bothersome insect, Mega Man X. It is about time that I crush you beneath my heel. Ha ha ha, Wolverine! <laughs> okay, okay. This is a very important boss fight for slowdown and input eating to not happen. Because he's actually kind of hard, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna use one of those things now. Hey, hey! Oh no! Yeah. Gosh darn! Gosh darn! Stop with the invincible thing! Oh goodness me! Oh goodness me! Thank you. That is my attack of choice, because it leaves you vulnerable, while also being not that hard to dodge. Uh, he says right before getting hit by it. Man, how many times is that going to happen in this playthrough? <sighs> not to make this too personal with Sigma, but I HATE YOU! <laughs> Big smile on his face. Yeah, I'm blowing up. <laughs> and there we go. That was Mega Man X2. Uh, just waiting for the credits now. <gasps> What's this? What the heck is this thing? And we're just into another boss battle. No explanation. Just fighting a 3D Sigma head. That's totally normal, right? And the weird thing about this boss battle is you have to hit him in the jaw. Not in his eyes, not in his big dumb head, in his jaw. Like that. <laughs> no! Ooh. And I'm pretty sure only fully charged shots hit him as well. Oh my god, stop! Yeah. The green glass does nothing. <laughs> Stop! You're going to make me cry. Uh. And full health? Yes. Not full health. Thanks. Ah. He keeps shooting him directly at me. And I, I never expect that. I always expect him to stop before hitting me. And then I get hit. And, you know. The rest, as they say, is history. Look at that. Look at that. That was all perfect. What was my reward? Nothing. I didn't even get an opportunity to attack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes! Yes! I've never killed him with the uppercut before. That was... After failing to hit so many good dudes with the uppercut, and not even getting the opportunity, it's super satisfying to kill Sigma with it. And, yeah, he's just saying static. St static, static, static. I destroyed the, the computer in the background? What? Mega Man X, I have lost to you again. Each defeat only makes me stronger and serves to bring you closer to your ultimate doom. But, something is not right. I don't quite understand. Why did Zero... He is last of the Doctor's creations. Uh, I'm dead now. Cool, man. Oh, yeah. 
I just teleported out, but you know, let's do the running while exploding thing, hallway thing. <laughs> Again, though, younger me was so into it. I was like, man, that's so cool. Oh, yeah. This music. Ah, uh, Zero's there. And then Mega Man comes and teleports and stands uncomfortably close to him. Joined by his friend Zero, Mega Man X gazes out over the sea. Ah, uh, this text scrolls at a lot more reasonable pace than the first game. Sigma has once again been destroyed, but X wonders if the fighting will truly end. Cause he's a pacifist, get it? He's a pacifist, he doesn't like the fighting. Was Dr. Light's dream of a world in which reploids and humans live together in peace? Merely a dream? Yes! <laughs> the price of peace is often high, X thinks to himself, because he's deep. Who or what must be sacrificed for it to become reality? And when the time comes, will he be able to do it? The future holds the answers. Or... Dot dot dot... Boink, 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 boink. Yay, I got to go home on this speeder bike thing. That's Mega Man X2. It's a really good game, except for all the slowdown. I I don't know why that's happening. Like I said, I, I'm, I remember slowdown happening originally, like in the original game, and... You know, some slowdown still happens in the remakes, I guess because they wanted to stay true to the original, but I don't remember it being that bad. So, I'll have to do some experimenting, see if it's my computer, or the recording software, or what, or if it, that's just how it is. But, uh, yeah, I, th I think this game rocks, and uh, that's why it used to be called Rockman in Japan, am I right? <laughs> I actually firmly believe that this, these games, the Mega Man Trilogy, Mega Man X Trilogy, sorry, I actually believe that that's why I like the kind of music I do now, because that was like my first exposure to like electric guitar and like, you know, guitar riffs and stuff like that, so, I mean, I really like rock music now and some metal and stuff like that, so, I feel like... This, these games probably had a huge impact on me like that. And then you get all these arbitrary stats of all the bosses. It means nothing. Will Gator's power isn't that high. Look at that y'all going with all that speed. Surges has really high speed too. And Neo Sigma. Ooh, he's Neo. Zero power and speed is. Oh. And you, as Mega Man X, power and speed is. Oh. <laughs> uh, silly. Because he has limitless potential. Oh, yeah, that's. That's. Dark Zero that we didn't get to see because I technically failed. But we all know I totally didn't fail, right? Thanks for playing, presented by Capcom, before they became, you know, money-grubbing assholes. You're welcome, Capcom.
and and thank you for the game. I don't know if there's a post credits scene in this one where you know Sigma comes back or whatever. I don't remember. Is Zero just gonna stand there blinking forever? He probably is. Yeah, it seems like this is it. Well, that's all the time I'm gonna take to stare at Zero's face, so cause Heh. <sighs> okay, okay. My mom is proud of me. <sighs> She's still proud of me. <sighs>